Hey everyone, happy Sunday. Today I'm going to be talking about, or drinking, talking about and drinking, <laughs> two of my favorite things. Um, Apex, Pre Apex Predator by Off Color Brewing. <clears throat> Off Color Brewing first came to my radar only perhaps a week ago um, from Le Man of Lore's channel. There will be a link down below to the video that he recorded of a, uh, an Off Color Brewing uh, beer. Off Color Brewing is a uh, small outfit out of Chicago, Illinois. For those of y'all who don't know, I love Chicago. It is my adopted hometown. I spent several years there. Um, and Off Color Brewing is a recent brewery that was created by uh, two people with extensive experience in the brewing industry. Uh, and their main goal appears to be uh, attempts to um, resurrect some forgotten beer styles or forms, um, particularly those that predate the uh, German Reinheitsgebot, German Reinheitsgebot, the German beer purity law. Um, for those who don't know, uh, it's a pretty important thing in the history of beer that has generally produced a lot of good things. Um, it was kind of one of the first food purity laws, food safety laws. I couldn't tell you exactly off the top of my head when it happened, um, but it was several hundred years ago, like the 14th, 1400s, I think is the, the, the number I want to say. Um, and it said that in order to be called beer, something could only contain, um, well, back when it was first written, they didn't know about yeast. So it was hops, malt, that is barley, and water. And then later they added yeast once, you know, people learned what yeast actually was. Um, so they're attempting to uh, resurrect some fairly old styles and probably more forms uh, than distinct styles. Uh, but we, what we have today is not an ancient beer style. Today, Apex Predator is simply a farmhouse ale, which is typically another word for a season that is a seasonal, but not necessarily. Um, I got this mainly because it was the only off-color brewing uh, beer available at my local uh, Total Wine. Um, being a microbrewery, it's kind of difficult to find um, you know, examples of, of a beer by such a small outfit as Off Color all the way here in the Pacific Northwest. Uh, same as, you know, I can't ever find anything from New Glarus or, or any other um, really small Midwest. Um, from time to time, I'll find a Prairie Artisan Ale but they are so expensive out here, and Prairie Artisan is just a superb example of a of a um, Oklahoma brewery. Um, I've liked most of the things I've had from there. There's a few that get a bit adventuresome for my taste, but still really quality stuff. Anyways, so uh, I was happy to find an off-color brewing uh, beer here. I was happy that it was a farmhouse ale because I like farmhouse ales, and uh, so let's give it a try. Okay, so straw color pour, um, pretty uniform head. Um, not like artificial uniform, but that's that's quite pretty. It's very pretty. Uh, okay, orange citrus, orange peel. Um, maybe some grape. It's very effervescent. I think this is probably. Um, Common farmhouse ales would be the Saison, the seasonal beer. Um, I love Saisons. I haven't met a Saison I didn't like. <laughs> um, this is reminding me a lot of a Saison. Very, very effervescent, bright, happy, just a real happy beer. Yes, I understand that happy isn't a, a descriptor commonly applied to flavors and scents, but still, um, it's how my mind works. So. <laughs> <laughs> sometimes I think in, you know, flavors in terms of colors and sometimes shapes, I would call this beer uh, probably a, a pentagon or an octagonal, uh, like a, not not quite sharp like a triangle, but not round, you know, not a real circular. It's, it's balanced, right? So, so sue me. <laughs> okay, so the head disappears pretty fast. You saw that. What, 15 seconds? Maybe 20 seconds? 
Okay, we'll have to see if I can stitch this back together. Um, I was trying a remote control and it appears to have stopped my recording just a moment ago. As you can see, the head is pretty much entirely disappeared. It's had perhaps a minute, so that's pretty fast. Um, okay, so I'm picking up more of the grain flavors now that there's not a bunch of bubbles popping and, and expressing themselves into the air. Um, still kind of a uh, fruit um, mango, some tropical fruits in there. Yeah, it's a nice smell. It promises good things to come. So let's see how it tastes. Hmm. Oh, that's tasty. That's good. Okay. So it doesn't have... Oh, I'm still going. It doesn't have like that super full and lasting juiciness that you expect from, uh, say, uh, Brasserie DuPont um, or uh, Plenty, the, Plenty the Elder, I think, which is another um, kind of a, a Saison or Farmhouse style. I think I'm right, right? I've only had plenty once. Um, I was lucky to get it uh, visiting parents' house down in California a year ago now. Um, but okay, so it starts out, it, it's a really interestingly balanced, um, sharp sourness, but not like pucker sour, not like a sour sour, just more of a, a farmhouse sour. It's bright, um, lemon peel, you know, less orange peel, more lemon peel. Um, but there's a real pronounced uh, grain note maltiness, but it's it's on the funky side. So it's not really like a, a dry biscuit cracker. It's more of a funky, like a, a wet, um, wet hay. Um, so you have this real kind of bright start and, and it feels kind of powerful, but it really quickly kind of starts mellowing and takes you through a couple different layers. And then you get down to this, you, you, the, the funkiness kind of builds. Um, as you swallow, it, it's really dry. And as you swallow, it's, it kind of uh, goes away, not to a, not to a cardboard, um, but definitely, I think I'm picking up the cracker now. And this is what, 30 seconds later after I've swallowed. Um, that's a really nice flavor journey. Um, <laughs> there was a small brewery back in my hometown that I visited with my dad. Uh, several years ago, and the way I described those beers to him was that, and I won't name it, um, I'm sure they tried hard, and brewing is, is an art, but the beers took you on journeys, but they were always confusing, and where you ended up often had very little to do with where you began. So... It wasn't that any one beer was super unpleasant, but it just felt as though they were put together with less expertise and experience, and they were more just playing around, trying to see what happened, rather than producing a product that had a cohesive vision to it. Um, that isn't the case with this. Uh, this has a really, it has a very interesting uh, flavor path. It, it takes you through from this real bright explosion of kind of bright, uh, dry, bitter, uh, sour fruit. Um, but the, and then this really quick progression that takes you through the, the, the malt building, kind of the wet hay, and then into the kind of the dry cracker finish. And it's a real long tail. Like, you know, I was still tasting it in my mouth 30 seconds after I'd swallowed it. Uh, but it all kind of made sense. It was a it was a, a purposeful and meaningful pathway. And I like that. That's good stuff. So this has been Apex Predator by Off Color Brewing. I apparently will be stitching this video together, so we'll see how that works, because even though I'm you know professional computer dude, um, I haven't actually done much video editing. So we'll see. And um, yeah, highly recommend it, especially if you're in the uh, Chicago area. See if you can pick up some bottles, and you know a lot of a lot of bottle shops, a lot of local uh, tap rooms, even maybe though they might have a harder time. But places that sell cans and bottles of beer are quite happy to try and order stuff. If you want to go in and ask, "Hey, can I get this?" They're super happy to find someone who's interested in beer and is willing to ask them, "Hey," and more often than not, I 
well, I'm actually, I'm not going to say I've ever done this because I haven't. I've merely asked about it. And people have always been very willing. Yeah, just let me know. I'd love to order that for you. We'll call you when he gets in. Um, so yeah, even if you're not in the Chicago Chicago area, knowing I can get this in the Northwest, if you want, if you like Saisons, if you like farmhouse beers, if you want to try out a new microbrewery, I highly recommend Off Color Brewing and Apex Predator in particular. <laughs>